Adelaide Zoo's famous flamingos were loved by generations of families. Chilly when she passed, she was nearly 70 years of age and Greater when he passed in 2014 was 83 years of age, making him the oldest flamingo in collections at that time. But rather than being buried, both birds were placed here. While taxidermy might be spooky to some, Joe Bain sees it as a way to celebrate life. Just because these animals die, it doesn't mean that their mission ends. Working with taxidermied remains um, can teach people the same as that they do at the zoo. His latest mission is to preserve the flamingos as they were during their lives. I'm keeping his little arthritic ankles and all those things that made greater him, you know. I'm keeping all those things because that, that's what makes him special. It's hoped eventually they'll live here in the museum's mammal display. But taxidermy isn't cheap, so they're holding a fundraiser to bring the flamingos back to life. It's $50,000 in order to do the taxidermy work, to create the display uh, that where people can come and see them. But also, a taxidermy needs maintaining going forward. Most people would associate flamingos with South America or Africa, but Australia used to be home to four species of the birds that lived in large inland lakes until they all dried up about a million years ago. Now the only place to see a flamingo will be here in a museum. And it's unlikely Australia will ever import flamingos again due to tough biosecurity laws. Internationally we know there's a lot of uh, species that carry disease and if they were brought into Australia it would put our native birds at risk. A threatened species now roams the flamingo's old enclosure, a reminder not to take wildlife for granted. Sarah Tomevska, ABC News, Adelaide.